Hi. Hello. Hello. We're back. We are back. Um, we are so excited this week. Um, a lot of you sent us messages about us losing our dog Quincy in Colorado, which was such a heartbreak for uh, not only us as a family, but also this guy became super depressed. So basically, after consulting some animal experts, the final thought was either puppy Prozac or another dog. So with no further ado, say hello to mine. We went for the pup for the other dog. Um, we, I was actually the one who was dead set, uh, dead set. I was, oh no, don't be touching my baby. I was dead set on not getting another dog. Um, but we really learned through some of these experts when you have two dogs, um, a lot of times they become companion dogs and they become very close. So Winston was just getting super depressed and um, our kids were sad. We were still sad. I mean, it was a huge loss for us. So anyways, we wanted to introduce Miles. Do you get the reference Miles RV dog? Um, I don't even know if you can see how delicious and cute That's he is. Oh, oh, he was going for the zoomy zoom. Oh, <laughs> um, we're in Hershey, Pennsylvania right now. Um, we're so excited to be here, but we uh, threw a little thing up there on Instagram. Should we name him Hershey? Because this is his first <laughs> RV trip. Um, so now that you guys have met him, you're going to see him on uh, Instagram and you'll see him on our YouTube. And we'll, uh, we just did a really cool blog post about um, RV life with dogs and how do you facilitate that? I think we answered a lot of the questions we got their their plan. Um, Winston's being super patient. And um yeah, I mean, anything's doable. Uh, our biggest hurdle when we had Quincy and Winston was they had never been on a leash. So that was kind of like an opposite problem for, for most people want to be able to have their dogs off leash. They were great off leash, but not great um, on leash. So uh, we answered that. We talk a lot about um, where your dog's going to be safe wise when you're setting up, um, because that's a big thing. If they're in the car, a lot of times that's hysterical. <laughs> a lot of times, um, if you see something distracting you in this video, um, anyways, uh, a lot of times they're like running around the car or they're barking or they're excited and you're trying to back up and park. Um, so that can be a problem. So we talk a little bit about that. And then we also address, um, getting your pet supplies. So sometimes you're, you're somewhere where a pet smart or pet co or is not close. Mm -hmm. So we rely a lot on chewy and then just being, um, thoughtful and mindful of how much food you have and where you're going to be. So we answer that. So check out the blog post, check out the blog post. You guys know I'm really crafty with this. Check out the blog post. Um, and then lastly, kind of on a more serious note. So we lost Quincy cause he did eat something, um, toxic at a campsite. And after we posted about that on Instagram, we've had a billion people talk about it with us from chicken bones and the fire pits, um, garbage left on the ground, kids toys left on the ground. And, you know, we mentioned that it cost us eight grand in Colorado to try to save him. Five was, um, getting this out of his stomach. And then the other three was just trying to overcome all these obstacles that met him after surgery. He ended up aspirating and he got pneumonia. It was just really bad. So, um, we tell you that because we don't want you to think we just gave up on him. Um, you know, like, oh, well, if you could have saved him, we couldn't have saved him. I mean, we put a lot of money into it and it still just wasn't doable. So we want to leave you guys with a message tonight, which is even if you're not littering, maybe tell the story about uh, Quincy to a friend or a family member. We met with um, one of our other Jayco ambassadors tonight, Sarah and Derek. Follow them. We absolutely love them. They're from Canada. They have two beautiful, beautiful goldens, but they were saying the same thing. It's like a huge fear. So maybe you don't litter. Maybe you're teaching your kids not to litter, but tell the story about Mr. Q Man. <laughs> this is hysterical in the background. I feel like we should just have a, oh boy, look at that. We should just have a whole thing about the dogs. Um, but tell somebody about it because maybe you can tell somebody who tells somebody else and it encourages them not to leave stuff. I'm sure people aren't purposely throwing chicken bones in fire pits thinking they're going to kill a dog. Um, but it's just little things like that today where we are in Hershey, uh, right at our doorstep was the top of a bottle cap. Mm -hmm. It's like so ideal for a dog to just pick that up. Especially if you have a dog who likes to put things in their mouths. 
um, that bottle cap is not good for them. Um, and number one, it could kill the dog. Number two, it can kill the pet owner's pocketbook. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm just keeping it real. I feel like I did all the talking tonight. That's okay. That's okay. Um, they did the show in the back. So, hey, let us know what you think about these guys. Um, I'm also going to give a shout out to our breeder. Uh, we love her. We're super impressed with her. I'm super impressed with how this guy came to us, his disposition. So these guys are English Cocker Spaniels. It is my favorite breed. I had one before. Are you trying to upstage me? <laughs> I had one before I met Britton. Um, they're working dogs. They love to hunt and flush out birds. Um, they like to retrieve. They like to be busy. Uh, there's a few things we love about this breed. One, they can do a 10 mile hike with you and keep up. Um, they're working dogs. They love it. They thrive on it, but then they can come back to your RV or your house and lay on your bed and snuggle. So, um, he's really looking for some attention right now. So we appreciate you guys logging in. I have no idea what our sign off is. In fact, I wish you guys would drop in the comments what you want us to say, like peace, peace homies. No, that's so cheesy. I'm so, so cheesy. cheesy. I also notice him sitting here in a cardigan.